Abstract thinking is clearly something which is to do with uh, thought processes, obviously by its very statement, thinking, thought, but it's, it's abstract because it's not thinking necessarily about objects. It's not thinking about uh, a person or an object in front of them. It's thinking about almost, it's thinking about thought itself. You're not quite there, but you're thinking about things like mathematics, but it needn't be mathematics. It could be just thinking of the concept of beauty without actually thinking of a beautiful object. So it applies to art as well as to science. Science involves logical statements. So somebody might be laying on the bed at night trying to work out the solution to a problem. But equally well, an artist might be wondering on the concept of beauty and the concept of colour and thinking about not just the objects which have colour, but thinking about how colour emerges in different types of settings or whatever. Abstract thought means that you're not thinking about something concrete necessarily. And C.S. Lewis said this, that he said it in the book Miracles, nature is quite powerless to produce rational thought. Not that she never modifies our thinking, but that the moment she does so, it ceases for that very reason to be rational. A train of thought, he then went on to say, loses all rational credentials as soon as it can be shown to be wholly the result of non-rational causes. That was written in his book, Miracles. And what he's basically getting at there, he wasn't a mathematician, but he was a brilliant philosopher. He was saying that rational thought cannot come out of irrational matter. Molecules don't produce rationality. They don't produce thought. If I could say that, or, or you could say rather, that you could analyze my brain and work out what I was going to say next in an argument, and they could work it out because I ate peas for breakfast the day before yesterday, then that would mean that there was a whole trace of rational causes, right? So. Rationality cannot come from just chemistry and physics. Rationality itself cannot emerge just out of non-rational matter by a set of lots of physical, physical and chemistry laws.